Hello everyone, my name is Jaden. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not new, then welcome back. So just over a month ago, a YouTuber by the name of Sorel Amore posted a video. Uh, so I've had this idea to live like Casey Neistat. She created the hashtag living like Casey. And in creating this hashtag, she was challenging everyone else to take the challenge and live like Casey Neistat. Now she said in her video that she underwent this challenge in the hopes of getting to meet Casey as it was one of her goals of 2018. But for me, it's more personally uh, taking up his life and seeing what it's like to live a day in his shoes to see just what the man goes through because he's an absolute workhorse and I love the content he creates and I want to see what it's like living like him for a day because his schedule compared to mine is completely polar opposites. He's getting up at like 4 or 5 a.m. I'm getting up at like lunchtime. So yeah, this is gonna be pretty interesting. But just before we jump into the actual content, I'd like to send you guys over to Sorel's channel because she makes some great content and she's the one who came up with this challenge. I'll leave a link in the description below, so definitely go and check that out. I'd also like to thank Casey Neistat for making hundreds and hundreds of hours of just pure great entertainment and lastly i'd like to challenge you guys to go and take this challenge on yourselves and see what it's like so now that the intro is out of the way let's get straight into this challenge up between four and five always up between four and five all right hey guys i look like an absolute mess sorry i'm kind of hand holding this camera instead of having my normal tripod um as you can see it is, that's going to focus in, it's 4.57, I don't even know why I'm up, but now apparently I'm supposed to start working, um, I don't even know, so I'm going to go make myself a coffee and get to work I guess. See, it's these early morning hours that are the absolute most productive for me. So I'm half an hour into this whole working thing and I'm finding it kind of a little hard to focus on what I'm doing and just trying to stay in line with doing work and not kind of going off the beaten path on the social media and YouTube and other stuff like that while I'm sitting on the computer at just early hour. I'm guessing this is just because it's my first time, like I'm never normally up this early. My brain just doesn't know what's going on. But yeah, hopefully I can find some focus soon. Total focus. That gives me between 5 and 7 a.m. to get some work done. Two full hours before Francine's up. When she's up, we make breakfast. Okay, so it's 6.30 time for breakfast. By 8 o'clock, I'm out the door on my run. My run always happens. Okay guys, so it's now 7 a.m. So I'm just gonna get changed and we're gonna go for a run. I know I am not gonna be able to do, I think it's 10 miles that Casey does. There's no way known I'm gonna be able to do that. So I'm just going to do as much as I can in the time that I've got to do it. Uh, so yeah, let's see how it goes. Back from the run before 10, shower, shave, get out the door. Hey guys, so I just got back from my run. It's like 8.30, so yeah, I did about five and a half kilometers. Obviously that is nowhere near what Casey does. The man is just a machine and pff, I, th there's no way, but on the ride home, I was just thinking to myself, like I gotta do that again tonight before I go to bed, so. I don't know how I'm going to go doing it again, but I do feel very refreshed afterwards. I'll probably feel even more refreshed after I have a shower. Sorry if my arm's shaking. Obviously, I just went for that run, so my body's a bit wrecked, um, but 
going to go have that shower and hopefully things are good to go. Uh, so yeah, let's go and have the shower. Okay, so I'm out of the shower. As you can tell by my hair, it's all messy and wet and stuff. But anyway, I'm feeling so much better, so refreshed after that run and that, um, all right, um, look at this cat right here. What the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Anyway, I'm feeling so much better and refreshed after that, but, uh, it is nine o'clock now. Um, and I don't have to start my next task until 10 o'clock, so I guess I'm finding a little bit of free time like Sorel did in her video. Somehow feels like I've won the lottery or something because now I have an hour off. It's 9 o'clock and I have to start working at 10. So I'm going to really enjoy it and just play some games and stuff for the next hour. And yeah, maybe I'll be ready to work because I'm not really feeling like it at all and it's the next big chunk of the day. So, yeah, let's just enjoy some free time for an hour. One hour later. 9.45 a.m., time to go to work. Okay, so it's now 10 o'clock, which means the working day is begun, or has begun. Uh, so, I just wanted to state before I actually get into it that my life is obviously different. Then Casey, I don't live in New York, I don't live in a big city, um, I don't create videos daily for my job, so I am going to, however, try to emulate his working day as much as possible. Um, sorry, my cat is down here. Oof, here we go. Um, so I am going to try and create a full video um, today from start to finish edit um, and see how I go with that. I've also got a lot of other different little jobs and stuff to do around the house that I need to get done so that's going to be included as well in my working day uh, and yeah I'm just I'm keen to see how it all goes. I am feeling a little bit tired after sitting down for that hour of just kind of leisure time uh, maybe if I did stick 100% to Casey's schedule for the morning, then I might have been a bit more refreshed come this time, but I'm ready to start editing and stuff like that on uh, another video that I've been working on. So yeah, let's get straight into that now. finished for the day I got the video done it has been rendered out thumbnails done and it's ready to go up so that was my working day done 6 to 10 6 to 10 is family time and it's non-negotiable it is now 6 o'clock and I am ready to have uh, family time as Casey calls it but obviously I don't have a, a family like I do but you get what I mean I don't have a child and stuff so I'm just going to take this time as leisure time, uh, time for me to do what I want, uh, kind of like I had earlier this morning, which feels so long ago, but um, yeah, I'll leave that for my final thoughts at the end of this experiment slash challenge. Anyway, let's get into having some fun. I go to the gym from 10 to 11. All right guys, so it is about to be 10 o'clock, as you can see there, 9.58. So that means we have got to do our gym or another run. So I'm really not looking forward to this, but we got to get it done. This is the last thing to do that I can just pass out and sleep for a million years. So let's go and get this run done.
Alright, hey guys, I'm back from my run. I had a shower, excuse the crazy hair. I just went outside and it's really windy. Um, that run was interesting to say the least. Uh, it started to rain when I was driving there and then it stopped and I was like, alright, we're all good, we're all good, because it had been raining all day and then got about halfway, not even halfway around the track and it started raining and it just, whew, it got real cold real quick uh, but I had a nice warm shower and stuff and yeah that pretty much concludes the day there is one thing left on the routine list 11 o'clock I pass out